feel that tingling feeling when your football's asleep? I think I'm made of that. Straight from the pages of comic books, it's Casper, the friendly ghost from Steven Spielberg's production company and one of five summer movies we'll be reviewing this week on Siskel and Ebert, along with Mel Gibson's latest adventure, a teenage love story with Drew Barrymore, and more action from speed star Keanu Reeves. I'm Gene Siskel of the Chicago Tribune. And I'm Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times. Our first movie is the new special effects comedy, Casper, based on the comic books about everyone's favorite friendly ghost. As the movie opens, a zillionaire's spoiled daughter is furious that her father died and left her only a broken down mansion in Maine. But then she becomes convinced the property conceals buried treasure. The problem is she can't get rid of the ghosts that haunt old Whipstaff Manor, so she calls in the wrecking crews. I want my treasure. They can't haunt a pile of rubble for sake. <laughs> That's Kathy Moriarty as Kerrigan, the villainess. When that approach doesn't work, she hears about a ghost psychiatrist who specializes in solving ghostly problems so the spirits won't have to linger in this world. The ghost doc is played by Bill Pullman from While You Were Sleeping, and his daughter is Christina Ricci from The Addams Family. See, no ghost there. Now we can check over here, right? There's no ghost in there. You can even check from here. There. See? And that, of course, is Casper the Friendly Ghost, the creation of the special effects wizards at Industrial Light and Magic. Casper wouldn't be much of a problem if it weren't for his three obnoxious uncles named Stretch, Stinky, and Fatso. They don't much like creatures of flesh and blood. I feel like Oprah on hiatus. You look like Oprah on hiatus. <laughs> you know what the problem is? Casper's got no respect for us. After all we've done for the little glow work. Man, hey! What the hell do you think you're doing, Bulbhead? This floor used to be dirty enough to eat off of. But we have company. Oh, yeah? Well, company loves misery. The key to the movie, I think, is the relationship between Casper and Christina Ricci, whose friendship helps the rest of the story seem more than simply a tribe. The real stars of the movie are the special effects, though, and there are a lot of them. Colorful, bizarre, and sensational, including a chair that plummets down through the mansion and any number of lonely, moonlit cliffs and weird scientist laboratories. Casper is not very original as a story, but as an exercise in visual imagination, it's superb. Yeah, that's exactly the basis on which I like yeah. it. And it is the look of the picture. The three uncles, mm -hmm. I mean, these are a, this is a real major achievement in, in uh, special effects work. And they're absolutely entertaining. They kick the story into high gear every time they come on mm -hmm. screen. You would almost want to go back and just study how they're done mm -hmm. and how they're drawn. They're very exciting. And at the center, I like the story of the little boy ghost who... Uh, wants to be loved and can't I, that's always yeah. that's the but you're right the story with the daughter and all that yeah it's the special effects lightweight. and you know when you see these four ghosts who each have their own personalities you realize just a few more bits or bites in that computer and they'll be closer to their dream of being able to create human figures human figures you know yeah. throw in Marilyn Monroe that's the, and Humphrey Bogart those are the two they always mention right. I mean these these creatures is, are pretty real oh it's very impressive work yeah. okay